Uh, welcome to the second part of Kabra Microintroduction. In this part, I will show you how to integrate dependence injection container into our Kabra Micro project. Where we will start where we left after part one. I have the bootstrapper open and uh, okay, so Kabra Micro has its own uh, dependency injection container called Simple Container. Uh, however, I prefer to use AutoFact. Uh, different uh, dependency injection container. So I'll show you first how to use simple container, and after that I will show you how to integrate with a uh, old fact. Uh, before we start integrating integrating the dependency injection container, let's uh, prepare something to actually inject. So I will create create a class that will provide us a message, for example, uh, a message that we display in shell view. Okay, so... So I uh, create a class called greetings message provider. It has a method get and it will return some message return So we will we will inject this class into our shell view model. Okay, since we have not implemented the thing container, so when this greeting greeting message provider will not be resolved and it will not work right now. So what we will do is integrate a simple container that is pre-bundled with Calibre Micro. Uh, right. So first we create uh, the container object and that is a, a simple container and you see this class is under Calibre Micro namespace. And then we will need to implement uh, some methods uh, for dependency injection. If you open the Calibre Micro Bootstrapper basically you'll find some method related to uh, dependency injection container. One of them is uh, boot up uh, and configure and get all instances and get uh, get instance. So we will need to implement all these methods. What you see is it says that uh, we need to override this to provide an input output container specific implementation. Okay, so let's do that. First one will be to get instance and uh, what it will do it what we will do here is we'll use this container simple container get instance service and key We'll have to return this. And then we will implement the uh, get all instances. Yeah. And, and it's basically the same. Oh, a little laggy for me. Okay.
blast method will, method will override the one where we'll register our objects and interfaces. Okay, now we can uh, register the simple container, or I mean, uh, greetings message provider here. We register it to simple container. Uh, singleton greetings message provider. Mm, we also need to uh, register some caliber micro uh, classes that uh, bef uh, that. Uh, Previously was uh, resolved uh, by Caliber Micro itself because we didn't override these methods. But when we override, we actually need to do this ourselves. So it's only two classes. It's an middle manager and event aggregator. Uh, for now we are not using event aggregator, so we will not uh, register it, but we need to register this window manager because, because Calburn uses it to uh, display shell view model. Inside this, some, somewhere inside this display root view for method, the window manager is resolved, so, and use the speed shell view model. Okay, so let's try. Okay, so I guess I forgot something. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, um, what we also need to do is uh, register the shell view model. As you see, it works, however, it still displays the message we wrote in the view. It's in hello from the guide. We have here hello from greetings message provider. So what we will do is bind this text to some property in the shell view model. I will not go uh, into details of uh, binding uh, in this uh, video, but uh, this is the way that Caliber Micro enables to bind the uh, view elements to properties by name. That means we need the property with the same name, greetings message. And we'll uh, get the greetings message value from the greetings message provider. And it will be displayed in this type block. From greetings message. <laughs> okay, it doesn't fit. So we can quickly fix this by increasing maybe the width. Uh, it doesn't work that way. We need to restart the application. 700 with. And we see hello from greetings message provider. That means when the view model, model was constructed, we injected the greetings message provider into it. By we, I mean the, the, the dependency injection container. Now I will show you how to integrate 
not a fact that the Ben Mir section contains. It has a little bit uh, more functionalities than this simple container. So I prefer to use other fact. Okay, first we will we could do this manually, but I prefer to use a mega package for this. It's called Calibre and Micro Artifact. Uh, okay, it's uh, this one by Brandon Kovitz. This uh, Nugget package will also automatically was installed at the pack mm, Nugget package. So this Calibre Micro to pack bootstrap is just a helper Nugget package to for Calibre Micro and out of uh, integration. So what we will do is uh, update this bootstrap class. Uh, we will use out of pack uh, boot. Let's remember it's the fact and boot trapper. Yep, and it's new in this namespace that my got back. It is a generic, so it requires a root view model. If you actually inspect the source code for this uh, nugget package, you would see that uh, this uh, perfect bootstrapper uh, inherits from Calibre Micro Bootstrapper base that we were uh, inheriting before. It. So just additional level of inheritance. Okay, here we need to uh, implement fewer methods. And you override fewer methods because all these methods uh, is uh, handled by this auto effect bootstrapper. What we will actually need to override is methods uh, configure container. Configure bootstrapper and uh, Right, configure container. So in this configure container, we will uh, actually register our classes and faces. And we will not need this configure also. This is, it is also implemented by the fabric strap. So we can configure the strapper. I will only change one property. And it's uh, some uh, name namespace conver convention that I think requires shelf model and you be in uh, specific folders, specific namespace. But to produce the behavior that we had before. We and for we set this property to false, and here we will register our uh, class. So what we will need to register is register type again shell view model and uh, the greetings message provider. When I know that only one instance will be needed in the application, I always uh, register as in a single instance. Mm, we do not need to register the window manager, manager because this auto tag strapper registers it for us. And it also registers the event aggregator. Uh, not relevant in this uh, video. So. This should have the same behavior as uh, we had with simple container. Oh, yes, I don't need this line. And it should work just fine. We will also see message from the greetings message provider. Yep, done. 
Merci beaucoup.